Hey, it's show and tell. Look what I'm showing you today. No, don't focus in on the duckies in here. Focus on the flask. This is a flask that is familiar to everyone who's ever done any chemistry and to many others as well. It's called the Erlenmeyer flask. Why is it so called? Because it was uh, invented by Emil Erlenmeyer, a German chemist. It's a very useful flask because you can sw swirl liquids around in it without spilling. And for all of you who remember doing titrations back in your school days, uh, you are familiar with the Erlenmeyer flask. Well, Emil Erlenmeyer first set out to study medicine, but then he attended some lectures by Justus von Liebig, the noted German chemist, and he changed his path. He saw the light and he went into chemistry. Uh, he uh, then worked with Robert Bunsen of Bunsen burner fame. And Bunsen also worked on fertilizers. And that is where Erlenmeyer came in. He did a lot of work on fertilizers. Fertilizers are, of course, extremely important in the uh, production of, of food. And uh, that was at the University of Heidelberg, where he also met up with August Kekulé. Kekulé is sort of the father of molecular structure theory. He was the one who explained how the benzene molecule is formed by linking six carbon atoms together in a ring. Uh, and there is a famous picture of uh, six monkeys uh, holding hands uh, to represent uh, Kekulé's original idea. Anyway, uh, Erlenmeyer uh, got very interested in molecular structure, followed in the footsteps of, of Kekulé, and elaborated further on the theory. And he was really the first one to explain how carbon atoms can join together in different ways, including forming double bonds or triple bonds between uh, each other. So he made uh, really a number of very, very significant uh, contributions. And for those of you who are into organic chemistry, uh, keto enaltautomerism, which of course doesn't mean much to most of you, very important concept in organic chemistry, that was first formulated by Emil Erlenmeyer. So now you know something about the Erlenmeyer flask and its uh, history, but time marches on. And today we have Erlenmeyer flasks that are made of polycarbonate instead of glass. And the nice thing about polycarbonate, which is a plastic material, that you can drop it and it doesn't break. There are issues with polycarbonate, although not in Erlenmeyer flask. It is made with a chemical called bisphenol A, and you probably heard about that because it's one of these endocrine disruptors. However, uh, no worry handling the polycarbonate. When uh, it comes into contact with food materials, that may be somewhat of a different story. Anyway, there you go. Our show and tell today about the Erlenmeyer flask.